<clears throat> okay, this is the CNC Mill 1 stress test. I'm going for broke this time. I picked up a uh, piece of aluminum and we're going to see if we can't machine it. Either I'm going to break the bit or it'll succeed. Or maybe something strange will happen. We'll see. Um, safety squints on. Contact. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I, uh, I did not secure it well enough. Uh, note to self, blue painter's tape is not the best way to secure this thing. Alright, this is the Scene C Mill 1. If I'm pronouncing this the first part of the name right, wrong, somebody let me know. Uh, Mill 1 Aluminum Test. Uh, this is a stress test. This is the third attempt. The last time I uh, messed up the adhesion. So let's see how this does. And safety squints on. Uh, contact. No! 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 This was one of those situations where you, everything seems like it's going fine, and then the one thing that you didn't really think about goes completely and utterly wrong. What I wasn't really prepared for was the fact that um, my feed rate was too high, and because of that, the bit that was in there vibrated loose because it's a cheap router and it's the call it just doesn't hold it very well i'm reviewing the machine so i'm pushing it pretty hard pretty fast you wouldn't normally do this with the machine when you get it you're going to be using it for a lot of stuff i'm really trying to see just how far i can take it uh it will do aluminum i've seen some videos of it and i the the cut that i was getting before the bit broke obviously was going well uh, the, it was just, it was a two flute bit, uh, for an end mill, when you're milling aluminum, you really need at least a three flute. You want to be able to adjust your feed rate and your speed. If you can't adjust your speed, then you have to lower your feed rate, and if you can adjust your speed, then, you know, you, you can mess around with it and get better cuts. It is possible to get aluminum cuts with this machine. I just was only working with what I had, so I'm going to order some new bits, come back to it, and see what I can do. Overall, though, my impressions of the machine are it's it's very well built, it works great, and I can't wait to get more stuff in this machine and cutting. I can't wait to actually get a, a, a finished product from this machine. Everything that I've done is just to play with it. We'll revisit this as soon as I get more bits, that's for sure.